gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. My name's Dan. My name's Mike Dan. What are we drinking? This is a big old blue bottle of beer, Mike. Oh, uh, we broke is. into the cellar, so late last year, I think uh, it was. Ah, the old Mikey cellar. Stored at Dan's house, because I have many, <laughs> many bottles. Uh... Ordered a, a box of beer from the brewery. Ooh, it was the, the brewery, brewery. Uh, their society. It was the mm -hmm. Reserve Society. Reserve society yep. um, and this was one of them. So this actually was bottled on 6-13-2019. Oh! Um, and this good. is their Imperial Cabinet. Look at that bottle. It's like blue. Like if you look Oh, it is. Thing. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty dope. That's uh, a great bottle. Okay, I'm in. I'm back so in. this beer it's probably good. is uh, 11.2 ABV, mm -hmm. and this is an American wild ale oh. brewed with herbs and spices mm. and aged in gin barrels oh. with natural flavors. Oh. Ugh, natural flavors. They're the best flavors. Uh, it's a brewery tarot. Um, and this is in collaboration with Jester King. <gasps> Jester King. Uh, so yeah, uh, King. the brewery located in Placentia, New York. Or Gross. California, not New York. Um, anyways, they say the gin barrel age wild air, blah, American wild ale, is a collaboration with our friends at Jester King in honor of Imperial Cabinet, an 1880s New Orleans saloon. Oh, interesting. We brewed this American wild ale with traditional botanicals to lend herbal and floral notes and aged it with bright citrus. The result is notes of lemon and lime zest, orange blossom honey, vanilla, and oak and spices. Okay, so do they give a delightful. dude? They give like uh, the pH total. They give the acidity and stuff. Yeesh. Best order. And some beers can't even put a canned on date on them. <laughs> I don't get it. I, I like the fact it. that they put the date on the bottle. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Uh, everything about this beer sounds awesome. It does. Ooh, uh, there's hesitation in your voice, Dan. What is bringing that about? Oh, look at their label. Learn more about the brewery tarot. It's got like the Instagram, Facebook. It's like tweets, a fortune things. cookie for beer. Yes. I'm a little nervous. Why? Why be nervous just, about such to a To be honest, we've beer. had some lackluster beers from the No. Brewery. Lately. What? All right, I'm going I'm to pour a lot. Oh, it looks awesome. We'll see. I, this bottle is fantastic. I what do a love the bottle. midnight looking. The bottle's awesome. Blue bottle. Stop. That's the thing about these. These bottles are huge. They're giant. Uh, it looks like a wild ale. Very nice, like still amber. I got a freaking nice foamy head on it. Looks like um, like rose gold cider. It Fantastic in this hashtag property. Honestly, it sort of looks like a West Coast IPA. It looks like an oxidized EQ. Like a, like a West Coast hybrid. Yeah, an oxidized EQ. That's what the West yes. Coast hybrid is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's the other descriptor. Dude, this froths up. Look at this. It does, bitch. but it, dude, it looks so still in there. Like, there's just nothing going on. Yeah, there's like, so there is some, uh, like, there's a slight bit of, like, haze and, like, a little bit of, of like, uh, you can see, it's not quite clear. Yeah. It looks like cider. Holy shit. Well. It smells fantastic. Uh, there is that wet horse blanket straw fruit. Wow. The gin has come to play, my friend. See, I don't know enough about gin to pull any notes. Oh, that thing. is gin all day. So this is uh, it sort of <laughs> reminds me of uh, Copperleaf's barrel aged grisette because they barrel age in gin barrels. Well, how about that? But this is... Um, yeah, so you can smell the acidity, like it. it oh, very much so. There yeah. is this. You know, this acidic. is gonna be a tart, like just. It's gonna be the one puckering beer. It's gonna be the one where our first sip is just like, wow. Yeah, just your lips just get swallowed. Your tongue's just like, what are you doing to me? <sighs> wow, I love the aroma on this. So there are some nice. They they mention like you know botanicals and stuff. I, I was just gonna say like a wildflower, like. It, yeah, there. you could say, hey, I'm walking through like a greenhouse of just like oh, wonders. I could smell this all day. As it opens, it just um, gets more spritzy and like citrusy, lemon lime kind of, maybe a dash of uh, grapefruit. Spicy, zesty. But it's got, it does definitely has that gin dryness to it that I, I'm, I'm picking up on. Okay. 
All right, I, I think I can get pull out the, the gin notes now, what you're saying. Uh, let's dive in. Cheers. Mm. By the way, hashtag proper glassware. Got sent with the package. Uh, brewery glasses right there. Mm. That's a wild ale. Right off the rip, that's delicious. Yeah. Um, I, I get like a, like lemon, lemon lime tea notes to it. A uh, little raspberry, still zesty. Uh, it's not as lip puckering as I thought it was going to be, mm -hmm. but it's a very pleasant tartness. Those botanicals, the floral notes are coming off. Smelling it and tasting it now, they're a little soapy, and I like it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> like, this is this is fantastic. I'm definitely, there is, yeah, everything you said and more. Like, it, it's tart, it's acidic. Um, this screams like ginger beer. I get the gin, like, I'm pulling the gin now. Like, yeah, I'm pulling. Uh, yeah, okay. Like, there's continue, ginger continue. beer. Yep. There's the spicy floral peppery notes. It's like tangere. You know, it's just like, it's very much like a gin and uh, like 7 Up or, you know, something to that fact. Mm -hmm. Gin and tonic. Mm -hmm. um, not gin and juice. No, not gin and juice. But I'm still sipping on this. But I could, yeah, I see that raspberry you're talking about. And there is like this mm. little bit of sweetness. Like, they're, they're saying orange blossom honey, vanilla. You getting vanilla? I never would have pulled vanilla. But I do get like a nice pithy orange rind to it. 11.2, I mean, and it's... There, there's, I mean, there's the gin booze, but there's not like an alcohol astringency to it, I don't yeah. think. This is, this is a, a, a real nice cocktail that you would get at like a distillery or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh, you pair this up with some, like some, like nice like seafood or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is really good. Some cheese. What do you rate it, Mike? I'm gonna give this a. I'm gonna give this a four point seven five. This is fantastic. I, I love oh, God, it. God, these damn seven fifties. I need one. <laughs> Oh, I got all this glassware and now I need all these stoppers it four, for different bottles. Four, five? Four point seven five. Four point seven. Uh, wow. it's, it's up there. I love this. This is delicious. For what it is, yeah, I'll give it like a four or five. Personal preference, I'll give it like a three nine. No, not for you. I mean, that's still a good score, but I'm just I don't know. This is. I will take this. Home. The taste is great, <laughs> uh, but it's all oh, it's yeah. I love it. Uh, I, yeah, have you had Jester King before? Probably. I know I've had. I know I've had one Jester King. Mm -hmm. I know my buddy Tommy from Stay Fresh Design. He loves Wild Ales like this. I think he freaking love this beer. This is so good. Mm. Dead air, but in a good way, I guess. Absolutely. Just wow. It's it's a really decent delicious beer. beer. Uh I, I gotta see if Kyle reviewed this one. Uh, yeah, that, that's I'm a good question. I'm gonna look too. I'd like to see Kyle's. So, me and him got the we got the same same boxes. Mm -hmm. Uh no hype beer reviews. If yeah. you don't watch Kyle, we'll tag him down in the description. Yeah, too. Definitely. It's it's so weird. I, I guess I, I feel like I'm doing this beer like a little bit of a shame because I, I don't drink too many of these, so it's very hard for me to descript. Um, mm, there's like a medicinal cherry coming out now. Yeah. Yeah. I believe you. No, I can see that. Man, it's like biting into a lemon and lime at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. And just sucking on it. And you're getting all the fruitness, but then, you know, um, there's a, there's a candied sweet, it's like warheads, but not, not the confectionery sweetness, but all the tart. Mm. Tart sourness is there. Yeah, it's good. 
It, it is good. Yeah. It's just for me, I, I have... I have a very sensitive... No, I get it. I mean, there's been plenty of those beers where it's like the first sip and you're like, oh my gosh, yeah. I can feel it right here. But yeah, yeah this one's settling in nice. I, I really like this a lot. All right. Uh, yeah, down description below, the link tree and stuff. I'm going to see if our link is still active. So... Uh, expire? The, the, oh, the... Yeah, the, yeah so... No, 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 no. Link so, tree. Um, I was like, what, does that go away? Or? Uh, last year, the brewery actually sent us beer yeah. uh, to try. It was a uh, re reserve... You know, society. Yeah, yeah. Uh, beers. We got two glass with glasses, mm -hmm. three bottles of beer, and um, or no, actually one glass because this is from yeah. We got I the bought. one glass. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But anyways, they sent us some beer. Like, hey, try it out, and you know, if you like it, you know, here here's a link you can provide to your viewers. Uh, we get a little kickback, and I believe they get like some percentage off for signing up. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I'll have to see if that's still active, and if it is, we'll put down the link. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Guys, it's well worth trying. Yeah, really. You click the link and nothing is different. You just sign up for whatever and right. we, we get a kickback on whatever you buy. Yeah. And we're so. just going to use that kickback to buy more beer. Yeah. For you. Um, and didn't we, correct me if I'm wrong, but when we did that, it was after the one beer tuber palooza where at least it was my first time having brewery beer because Kyle brought all those like. The exact video that got us brewery even contacting us was it was one um, of the tuesday or monday beers yeah right? it was the gray monday okay and yeah it was like that a, was an insane yeah. it was a wasn't that like a 2013 or something yeah. like oh that was so good so yeah anyway. so yeah definitely yeah. all right gang uh what do you think of the brewery um i i bet jesse c will watch this video jesse uh he's always posting uh brewery Things on untapped, always yeah. tagging me. Just tag me in one. It's uh, it's like this crazy banana stout. I'm like, oh, I need that. <laughs> oh, yeah, this guy in banana stouts. Oh, but I don't know if anyone else makes those, but uh, I'm a true ape when it comes to that. <laughs> so, uh, all right, hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.